Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. Welcome to the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Lush Lawn. And we're going to get right into it. We do have some spurts of snow around the state. And not that they'll really mount to much, but it's a small flake and things are a little icy and a little cold. So give yourself some extra time. And want to remind you that the Grand Rapids Doppler radar from the National Weather Service is still out. They're doing a very needed uh, maintenance on it so that it'll last years longer. And so that's going to be out, they think, for maybe another week or so. Um, but you can see all across the Saginaw area, Flint area, southeast, I, I would call it vigorous snow showers. Sometimes you get in there and it's like, hey, this is snowing. And then five minutes later, let's up back to it. That's a very uh, late February, early March like type pattern. The uh, radar forecast from the model that I like on this kind of situation, a high resolution rapid refresh, doesn't really show anything of significance. Um, but again, spotty slick spot. So here we go through the day. This is noon and it's showing a little bit of lake effect, more concentrated near Muskegon down the southern shoreline of Lake Michigan. But a widespread, no nothing going on there. And I would say that what we have going on this morning right now is probably a couple of hour off and on bursts of snow. Maybe you get a half inch, maybe you get an inch, but that's about it. All right. So the next snow is on the horizon. Here's the model that goes out into that. This afternoon, mostly dry. Tomorrow, a good day to travel at least in the morning into early afternoon hours or so. This is four o'clock. Um, let me just play it back and forth of what's gonna happen. So you can see solid snow coming across pretty much all of lower Michigan, almost using the Mackinac Bridge as a dividing line from snow south of it to no snow north of it. Uh, this is four o'clock tomorrow, so into the southwest corner. And this model tends to run a couple of hours early, a couple of hours fast. So it really might be almost sunset before it starts in the southwest corner. Um, now we're at six o'clock and in the Detroit area. So it might be eight o'clock or so uh, tomorrow evening. A middle of the night, we're at uh, midnight there. We're in the heart of it. And uh, three, four five, six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning on Friday. So Thursday night is snowy. Friday morning, again, remember this running a couple of hours fast, typically. Uh, Friday morning, early, snowy, probably done in most places by about 10, maybe 11 o'clock in the far eastern part of the state. How much snow out of this one? I'd call it a I'd call it a two to three inch snow with some isolated four inch amounts. And that would be from Clare to Bay City, uh, Bigger Rapids, southward. That includes all the Grand Rapids, Saginaw, the whole Saginaw Bay City area, Midland, uh, all of the Thumb, all of Flint, all of Ann Arbor, um, all of far southern parts of Michigan too. We'll call it a two to four inch snow and it should be kind of a fluffy snow. Uh, the the snowfall looks like it could become what we call efficient. And that means big fluffy flakes for a few hour time period Thursday night. And that's what would get you up to four inches if we did get to it. Temperatures, let's search for spring. Uh, and we will have to search pretty hard for it. Highs today, no, it's wintry. 20s in the south half and probably falling temperatures uh, into the low to mid 20s. And then only teens, Traverse City, a frigid 14 degrees, and Mackinac City, frigid 15. Uh, tomorrow, still, I would call it fairly frigid. Highs in the upper 20s to near 30 in the south, teens in the north. Uh, bear in mind, our normal high now, our normal high now is around 30, 30, 34 degrees or so in the southern half of the state. So 
You know, when you're looking at highs only in the mid 20s, that's pretty cold for this time of the year. All right, so we are at Friday, Saturday, a little bit warmer, trying to inch toward the freezing mark. We'll call it 30 to 32, southern half of lower. And uh, Sunday, a little bit warmer. We'll call it 32 to 38 from north to south across the southern half. Still staying cold, bitterly cold in the northern third of the state. Uh, Monday, looking at temperatures maybe into the low to mid-40s in the southwest half of lower Michigan. And Tuesday, trying to get toward 50 degrees. We're in the pattern now where we can warm up quickly because there's warmth just to our south. And Wednesday in the low 40s, Thursday a little bit colder into the 30s, and then Friday now, this granted this is 10 days out, uh, showing some 60s to our south. It's there. That kind of weather is there. Um, you know, it's just not that it's going to burst in and stay here in that kind of magnitude in late February or early March. But it does say that that kind of weather is kind of close. That kind of weather is almost consistently now in uh, Illinois, southern Indiana, southern Ohio. And it makes you think that if we don't have any sort of strange pattern change in a big cold blast, makes you think that March could treat us pretty kindly on temperatures gradually over the month and you might settle into some 50s by the time we get to the end of the month or so so there you have it give yourself some time today for sneaky slick spots especially if you're traveling north where they've had eh, three four tenths of an inch of ice in the last 24 hours the spurts of snow around so give yourself some time just be careful extra 15 minutes if you're going somewhere that takes a half hour or so and um then we'll just keep searching for spring. It's starting to show up slowly. It will get here. That's one thing I can promise you. 100% chance spring will come. <laughs> you don't hear a meteorologist say 100% chance very often. Hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Lush Lawn. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care. Be safe.